All right, guys, so I just wanted to start this video off by saying thank you to everyone that watched my last video. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's basically a video that talks about how you can make over $100 a day passively on this website called Teespring. If you haven't checked it out yet, there's a link in the description or you can just check out my channel. And I got really great comments on it and it seemed like you guys really enjoyed it because you got a lot of views and it also got a lot of likes. But anyway, since you guys like that video so much, I decided to make a video kind of similar to that one. But instead of talking about how to make money on Teespring, I wanted to talk about other ways Ways you can make money as a teenager and I'm not gonna be like those other videos that talk about getting a job at a fast food restaurant or getting a job at a retail place or walking a dog or babysitting there's nothing wrong with those jobs but in this video I was just gonna be talking about some side hustles that require less work but make you more money and if you take action and start doing these side hustles you will see a significant increase in your bank account and it's honestly really easy work it's not that hard to do and for the most part it's pretty simple to get started so if you're just as excited as me to learn about how you can make money fast as a teenager just be sure to please show your support by smashing the like button hitting the subscribe button and without further ado let's get right into the video so in 2020 a big source of income available to anyone at any age anywhere in the world is Instagram if you want to sell candy in school that's cool if you want to walk dogs that's cool but with Instagram you can potentially make over $100 per day and that is because you don't get paid hourly like the other jobs you get paid for the value that you provide to others so if you're a teenager or a young adult you most likely have an Instagram account and you've most likely seen these types of pages on the explore page these are called Instagram theme pages. They have tons of followers and likes, and all their posts are centered towards a certain specific niche. And the posts on these theme pages will constantly end up on the Explore page for everyone to see. And it's important to note that depending on your likes and interests, you're gonna get different posts on your Explore page as opposed to someone else with different interests or different likes. So the Explore page is catered toward your interests. So this is a meme page, a lot of Generation Z kids and millennials they're most likely to follow meme pages this is an entrepreneurial page for entrepreneurs that are trying to start up their small business or something this is a travel page obviously people that enjoy traveling the world or taking vacations or will be interested in this and this is a fitness page anyone that's interested in fitness or setting goals for their health or something like that those are the type of people that are gonna be following these pages and you're probably thinking that's all great but how do I make money from this well in my last video where I mentioned how you can make over $100 a day on Teespring I mentioned that in order to market our t-shirts we have to pay Instagram theme pages to put up our advertisements and this is exactly how they make their money they sell story posts shout outs links and bios reposts etc so who exactly are buying these ads the people that are buying these ads are business owners or small influencers that are on the come up. Business owners buy these ads because they want to attract people to their store. So in my last Teespring video, we were the business owners and we were paying the Instagram theme pages for ads. And in this video, it's the other way around. We are the Instagram theme page and we are getting paid by other business owners to promote their item. And transactions are simple and take place through Instagram DM. A business owner or influencer is going to hit your DMs up and ask you what your rates are for your posts. The bigger your pages and the more engagement that you page has the higher the price you can charge you can make your prices however you want to make them but it's important to know that if your rates are too expensive the business owners are going to turn towards a different theme page with more affordable rates however if your rates are too low someone's going to think something's up like you probably don't have active followers or high engagement rates or something like that payments are usually conducted through paypal goods and services but you can also do venmo or cash app or something but i highly recommend only doing paypal goods and services because that's the only way that you're going to get your money back in the event that you don't get what you paid for and it's also important to note that just because someone wants to receive their payment in cash app or venmo doesn't mean that it's a scam completely there was one store that i had that i paid a certain amount of money through cash app for an advertisement and they came through and they posted the ad on their instagram page on the other hand the other day i paid a large amount for an advertisement for one of my yoga stores so basically he tells me that he can put up the t-shirt ad and i said all right great i sent him everything and i sent him the link in bio and he's like you only paid for a post you didn't pay for a link in bio i'm just like what what's the point of advertising a t-shirt on your page if i can't even put a link in bio like that's ridiculous so now i had to send a dispute to paypal so they can give me my money back but now my money is pretty much in paypal limbo for the next month 
but if I didn't pay in PayPal goods and services, that would have been money completely gone. But now that the payments are out of the way, I'm gonna be talking about how you can grow your Instagram page. So when you first make your Instagram page, you need to decide on a niche. And some niches are easier to grow in than other niches, but the important thing is, you need to select a niche that's actually profitable. And then from there, it's really no secret. You just have to grind for followers. To grow organically, you need to post consistently and you need to post with a lot of hashtags that way people can find you and growing takes a long time to do it's obviously easier said than done you don't grow famous overnight and also you won't even earn significant earnings until your page has maybe about uh, 10 to 20 thousand followers and if you want to know how to get to that 10k 20k range I'm gonna give you three tips at the end of the video and I'm gonna be talking about exactly how you can achieve that so make sure you stick around till the end of the video but it's important to note that your first 1,000 followers are gonna be be the hardest 1,000 followers to capture in your whole entire career. It's a lot easier to get from 1,000 to 10,000 than it is from zero to 1,000. But if you just don't want to grow an Instagram page and you want to start immediately, there's another option for you. What you can do is you can actually buy an Instagram theme page that's already been established. It's as easy as finding a theme page on Instagram and hitting up their DMs and you gotta ask if they're willing to sell their account. Once again, if you decide to take this route, you need to pay through PayPal goods and services. That way you're back to buy PayPal just in case you get scammed. But if you're willing to pay somewhere between 300 to $500 on an Instagram theme page, you just opened yourself up to a massive audience with maybe 30K to 50K followers and you can start making money immediately through reposts and advertisements and shout outs etc and as your page grows you can grow your rates as well and the reason that Instagram is such a great tool for money is that it takes really little effort to maintain if you're in high school or college you probably have a friend that works either in fast food or retail and you can just ask them they will tell you that it is hard work I used to work both fast food and retail and they were it, it was really hard work and it was really hard work for very little pay with Instagram it's very little little work with very high pay and also with Instagram there's no boss there's no uniform and there's no rules that you have to follow because it's your business you're you're the boss on the other hand when you're working fast food or retail you're working for minimum wage and let's say your minimum wage is $12 an hour you would have to work nine hours straight in order for you to earn $100 for the day with Instagram you can make significantly more than $100 in one day with very little work if you're a teenager I assume that you're on Instagram anyway so you might as well start making money from it and if you're just the type of person that prefers working a physical hands-on job then I suggest getting a job that not only pays you hourly but also pays you commission the problem with being paid hourly is that no matter how much effort you're putting in or no matter how quality your work is your earnings are stacked and you're gonna earn the same thing every single day and you always have to work the same amount of hours on the other hand if you make commissions you're getting paid based on your results so you can become a car salesman and the more cars that you sell the more commission that you're gonna make or you can do the same thing at uh, AT&T or T-Mobile or even finish line the bottom line is it's important to stop getting paid hourly and start getting paid for the value that you provide for others these types of businesses are scalable meaning that you can multiply the amount of money you make while keeping the amount of work that you do the exact same so let's say you decide to spend four hundred dollars on a 40k Instagram theme page and you start growing that up and next thing you know you're at 100k what you can do is you can shout out a new smaller page that you can make and then that page that you just made will grow even faster and now that you have that you have two theme pages that you can post advertisements and all that too which essentially means you're doubling your income sources so if you get to the point where you own five Instagram theme pages and you're selling one advertisement on each of them for somewhere between 30 to 50 dollars that means means you're making anywhere in between $150 to $250 in one day. But don't be pressured to run five or 10 Instagram theme pages if you don't want to. When you're starting out, it's really important to focus your energy on one or two at the most. And there are plenty of resources online that'll show you exactly how you can grow your Instagram following and grow your business. If you're interested in learning more, I've included some links in the description that you can follow. And these videos go more in depth so you know exactly the step-by-step -step instructions on how to grow your Instagram page. If you want me to make a video about it, just leave a comment down below and I will definitely make a video about it if you guys are interested in that. So I'm going to give you three quick tips to grow your Instagram 
to put you on the right path. Tip one is you can do follow for follow to get recognition, but you should only do that to get your first 1,000 to 2,000 followers. You can't depend on follow for follow to get 20,000 followers because that's just not possible. Your main goal is to get followers through people finding you on the explore page, but you're not going to do that if you have zero followers. So for social proof, you can do follow for follow for your first 2,000 followers. Tip number two, you need to post consistently every single day. And that's the same with YouTube. YouTube likes to see consistency and so does Instagram. For YouTube, if you're uploading weekly, the YouTube algorithm likes that. For Instagram, it's a little bit different. You need to be posting multiple times per day, maybe three times per day. Every post that you make is an opportunity for someone new to find you. That's why it's really important to make quality posts and make consistent posts. And the last tip is to always have a story on your Instagram page. And this simply shows other people that you are an active Instagram page and an interesting page to follow. No one wants to follow a dead page. So that's pretty much the video I have for you guys today. Um, if you made it this far, I recommend closing out of this video and opening up Instagram right now so you can start making a new Instagram theme page. You have all the tools in your hands literally right now. You're using your phone to watch this video. You have the tool in your hand. And if you work hard and stay consistent, I promise you can achieve anything that you can set your mind to. But anyway, if you guys like this video, if you found it helpful or you found inspiration in this video, please show your support by smashing the like button and hitting subscribe. Also, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. It really means means a lot to me and I can't wait to make more videos for you guys and I'll see you next week.